Now we come to the last surface parameter that we have to recognize, understand when we interpret radar images. Let's repeat, we had topography and we had surface roughness. And actually these two can also be summarized in surface orientation. And now we come to the very important surface parameter, the moisture, which is described by the dielectric constant. As the name already says, there's, it is the dielectric constant is changing the electrical characteristics of the surface and thus leading to an increased capability of forwarding the radar signal. So water, for example, has a very high dielectric constant of the number 80. And water helps, or water avoids the penetration of the radar signal but at the surface of the water, the radar signal is transmitted, it is forwarded to, with the full intensity of this signal. So water has a very high conductivity. Now water in the form of molecules also changes the conductivity of the surfaces of our natural land surfaces, whether it is soil, whether it is ice or snow, or whether it is a volume of vegetation. So even the water content of these leaves change the conductivity of this scattering, scattering media or the scatterer, the leaf as a single scatterer. So the more moisture is contained in all these natural uh, surfaces, the higher the conductivity and the higher the backscatter. So we are not measuring the dielectric constant. We could, there is equipment um, that measures the soil moisture, for example, as, an, as a result of a changed conductivity. But what we, we are interested in is indeed the soil moisture. So we have in situ equipment that is measuring for us the soil moisture, it gives us a, the volumetric soil moisture content, for example, but the basic measuring mechanism is still the conductivity, the electrical conductivity in relation to the water content of the soil. And the same is actually done also with uh, uh, probing of tree trunks measuring the electrical conductivity, which is directly related to the amount of water. So as a result, let's summarize. We have these different scattering mechanisms. We have specular reflection, which may cause also double bounce if we have a second smooth surface. We have the rough surfaces, whether it is soil or snow or ice or the top of a canopy rough surfaces causing diffuse scattering and we have the volume scattering caused by many different um, high number, large number of scatterers. All of these effects are increased, emphasized if the water content changes. So that is why radar is such an important instrument in measuring constituents of the water cycle.